Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you and I worship you as I give you what, O oh God, anoint me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people. And as you bless them, do not pass me by. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My name is Pastor Florence Maina, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy, a program of One World Digital Media. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. The title of my message will be a continuation of Maturing Up in Our Lives, Part 5. And as I said, because we are in the month number 7, I'll share up to Part 7. I did not plan on that from the beginning, but you, I have to obey what the Spirit of God or guide me to do. My first is of reference will be from the book of First Corinthians fifteen fifty eight, then James chapter one, first two to six, and I will read in Jesus' name. The Bible says, "Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm, and let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain." James one two to six says. Um, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance fin finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. Wow. Let not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives a generosity to all without finding fault. And it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. May the Lord bless his word. Spiritual maturity in our lives cause for stability and being firm, not being moved. You cannot be moved as a spiritual or mature person if you are standing on a firm foundation, that is the Lord Jesus Christ, which will be strengthened by reading the word of God every day, by praying and interceding, worshiping and praising God and serving him and giving to him. When we trust the Lord, there is no reservation. I know many people don't like to hear about the resources, but I want to say to tell, remind you that God is calling us to serve Him for it. Remember, we have started by saying that our work in the Lord is not in vain, and it is when we serve the Lord for it. Yes, yes, always give yourself for it to the work of the Lord. There is nothing that gives me joy like when I am serving the Lord fully. Whether I am at work, whether I am in my, my home, whether I am out there, whether, whether I am in my bedroom, because I know it is not in vain when I serve the Lord. It does not mean that you are not going to meet obstacles. Yes, you will. There are times I come as a minister of the gospel and I enter my house and I say, wow, what is going to happen here? Because I'm human and everything is all over. There are dishes to be washed, there are things to be taken care of, and especially if you've been called as a woman, is there somebody there who is a woman minister who can relate with what I'm talking about? Because when God calls us, he calls us knowing that he shall give us the grace to face it all. There are times I come from meetings. Don't ask me why, because this is part of the, of the package. There has to be perseverance of some kind. It is not that I don't have people who can help me. They can help me, but then faith has to take its part when there are trials being t mentioned. They can come in all ways. They can come through friends. They can come through family, and I love them all. They can come through even core ministers. I want to encourage somebody out there so that you mature in your life with Christ and also as you serve. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and my sister. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, many kinds is, means many, just means that. You are going on the Lord and you had to put gas and you don't know what is happening and now your gas uh, is showing, your gas tank is showing almost empty and there is no gas station nearby. What are you going to do? You're going to start the trial by faith. You're going to call God by faith that you'll be able to reach the next gas station. Yeah, this is also part of it because that can move your faith. When you see that, you know, this is the time to mature and call the things that they are not there like they are. Yes. 
when you enter into that office as a manager and everybody is calling in and you don't know what to do. Yes, you have to start a farm. You've been called farm even as professionals. Mm -hmm. A student, you have done all you can and what you get is a nap, a failure. You're not going to stop there because you have to persevere. You are going to endure, you persevere, you are going to do it again and again. You do it again without giving up and you're going to succeed. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything yes you are not gonna lack anything as a student because you're gonna graduate at one particular time with honors because god is god but that is only if you endure if you do not give up because you failed one test because you are rejected in that program no let us continue 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 don't give up start the farm be immovable because you know as you progress in your career you'll be progressing also in the giving to the the work of the Lord. Not many people write to the money issue being mentioned, but it has to be there anyway. Oh, he, our God owns the silver and the gold. When the silver and the gold are measured, they are going to be for the people of God. And when they are for the people of God, it is for the work of God so that we can serve God fully, as we have read in First Corinthians 10, uh, 15, 58. Yes. Because we will serve God always giving ourselves fully to the work of the Lord because we know that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. As you go to school so that you can progress, you know I'm doing this so that I can serve the Lord. Oh, as I minister now in the media, I'm doing it knowing that I am serving the Lord. Sometimes it is very costly because I have to go to my regular job and I have to give this work. Many people ask me, how do you do it? The grace of God is enough for whatever God calls you for. Don't worry how I do it. The grace of God is sufficient. You may not be able to do this because you will not be called to do that. Spiritual maturity does not come. You do not compare yourself with other people because you know you are unique. You are peculiar and you are chosen generation. Yes, and that also brings us. You don't compete with other people. Your gifting is very different and each person has their own gifting. Yes, work at your gifting at maximum of your capability and the Lord will bless you and it will not be in vain oh is somebody lacking wisdom wondering how to do it i want to do it like them you can't do it like them tell the lord to help you do it according to the measure of grace and faith that has been given to you that you'll be able to do only when you ask wisdom because when you ask god he'll give it to you according to james and one for six which I'll also read again, but when you ask that is wisdom, you must believe and not doubt because, yeah, the one who doubts is like a wave of sea, blown and tossed by the wind. You must start firm on the Lord Jesus, the firm foundation. May the Lord help you to mature, even in our marriages, even in our in our career. Yeah, in our marriages, we have to be firm. We have to fight for our marriages on our knees. We have to fight for our marriages by communicating with our spouses. You are going to tell me, woman of God, my man or my woman does not want to communicate. Communicate even when he does not or he does, she does not. Communicate because your sound, the spirit of God will use that sound at the time when they are sleeping and will minister to them. You only do what you can, what you can't you leave it to God and the Lord will bless you. You can't just stay like two logs in the house. You are you are not dead. You are alive. You have to speak. Because when you don't speak, somebody else will speak to your spouse and you'll be snatched. We refuse that in Jesus' name. And right now, I cover our marriages with the blood of Jesus. I cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Even our ministry, our jobs with the blood of Jesus. Our jobs are threatened. But we, sh we are going to start the farm because... Our God is on our side and he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Mature up and be firm. Mature up and serve God without reservation. Mature up and do not fear because God is with you. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, what a word. Hmm. Thank you for encouraging us to mature up by being firm, by count it all joy when we meet with various trials. Help us to be firm, knowing that our labor in you is not in vain. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.
You are there and you're wondering, what is this woman talking about? I am talking about having a relationship with the Lord and you start maturing. You started by accepting the Lord to save you. You are there. You have never accepted the Lord. Do you like to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually. Guide me to a church that I will be able to run more of you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. Look for a church nearby where you live that you can call home church. Maturity, spiritual maturity, how you know, respect homes and knows that one has to belong to a home. Look for a spiritual home church where you can grow. When you go to the Sunday service, go behold the someone that is preached. Look or ask if there is a group. I'm sure there is a group. There could be a cell group, a live group, a seed group like in my church. Join one where you can be able to cheer the card of the word of God, to grow together, to serve the Lord, to build their spiritual muscles, to be able to serve the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Until next time, I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor, of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. You can continue to listen to this message and other messages by anointed servants of God by dialing 563-999-3909. You can also tune in and search One Word Miracle Radio. That way, be smart also. That is being mature in the knowledge that you have of technology by using your smartphone, Use your prayer store, download the app, One Word Digital Media. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people by sharing. That is maturity too. This is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. Also like our Facebook page of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. Subscribe to our channel and you'll be blessed. And share with other people. Why? Because those I can't reach, you are being used, you are maturing to be able to bring others to the kingdom. Also, if you'd like to join this ministry to be a blessing in whatever capacity, especially in the technology issues, you are more than welcome with both hands and the Lord will bless you. Thank you.